It's going to get very dark, Julia. It's a very, very dark story. Um, got to get it right, but Corrie always do. Yeah. They always do. They, they, they tackled some very, very difficult storylines and they always managed to... Just to make it totally believable, it's, it's all from the characters. Absolutely, yeah. We, we have a great research team. Um, and Corrie, as ever, they're, they're, they're going to be handling this really, really sensitively. Um, and I'm so excited to be a part of this sure. storyline. Because you know it's going to get it. a huge reaction. I mean, mm. rape is a difficult subject anyway, but male rape particularly. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of people will be surprised that that even happens. And of course, we know it does, mm. but it's been, it's even more of a taboo, isn't it? Because people just don't talk about it. Yeah, which, which is why it's important to do this storyline. Absolutely. You know, just to, to highlight it and get it out there and, um, and, and make it less taboo and, and give people the opportunity to speak out if exactly. they need to. See, that's what I think that, that soaps, particularly Cory, really come into their own. <clears throat> I know you're not, you're not doing it like a documentary, of course you're not, but it gives people the opportunity to talk. Mm. You know, you watch that and then you say, right, okay, that's happening. Maybe I can actually talk about this yeah. or maybe I can go and get help for this. Yeah, and it brings it into your living room, into your lives. Of course. Um, which does. is which is essentially what what long running yeah. dramas do and exactly. soaps and things like that. You've wanted to be on Corrie since you were five. I have. <laughs> <laughs> when you got the call that you'd got the part, where were you and what was your reaction? I I was on uh, I was on the train back from Manchester from my last screen test right. um, <laughs> on my own, and um, and my agent called me and I I just thought it was you know to say how did mm, it go yeah, and yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so I answered the phone and um, and I said, yeah, it was, you know, went well and on the way home now. And then he said, well, great, well, you got the job. So, wow. I, uh, <laughs> so I scrambled across the, the lad sitting next to me. It was a packed train. <laughs> um, absolutely scrambled across him. He must have thought I was bonkers. <laughs> and I ran into the vestibule and I... I rang my mum. Of course. And I remember we were just, both of us were just laughing and crying <laughs> and laughing a bit more and crying a bit more. It was the most surreal moment. Oh, it's fantastic. It really, really is. And you've done some great things as well, because you and your mum, you were on the float yeah. at Manchester Pride. Yes, How we cool were. is that? that means for brilliant. your mum as well, that's an mm. amazing thing to do. She must be Absolutely. so proud of you. Oh, well, I'm proud of her. You know, my, my mum's gay and I'm proud. Good. So, you know, and uh, yeah, so, and also for her to have the opportunity to be on the Corrie float. I mean, come on. You know, there's Doesn't a reason I'm a big that. fan. <laughs> and it's because of her. Of course, so, of course. Uh, yeah, no, it was a brilliant day. It oh, it's great. Now, when you, they do tell me when you were little, you did have a bit of a crush on Simon, who plays Steve. Yeah. So how <laughs> odd is that when you walk into the green room or the little room where everybody's having a cup of tea and there he is? Oh, it's fine now, <laughs> it's fine. Was it funny though at the start? It must have been a bit odd. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I remember meeting, um, I met David Nielsen, who uh, plays Roy. Oh, wonderful. Um, and Simon, I think they were the first two people that shook my hand as I came into the green room. And I remember it kind of just being like, you know, I, just, I didn't know what to do with myself, but it's fine now. He's, he's great. Of course, and you know, I'm not five anymore. I know, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But it is the dream job, isn't it? Yeah. And the thing is, you don't yeah. know, and your character, I mean, the relationship between your character and David is very complicated. Mm. I mean, it didn't exactly start off romantically, that's for sure. Yeah. And yeah. it is complicated, and he's a really complicated years, character, but what a great dynamic that is now. Yeah, it's, it's working really well, isn't it? Absolutely. I think um, there's lots of pushes and pulls and, and plenty of bumps along the way but that's what makes it interesting sure you know so uh, yeah we can never be happy too long <laughs> no no and like i say it's going to be it's going to be tough, pretty yeah. tough it is mm. there's another strange thing that you keep getting mixed up with another character you keep getting mixed up with nicola people keep mixing yeah. the two of you up your t-shirts made i believe we did well nicola got them made for us because it was just it was getting, it was getting beyond a joke <laughs> i don't know if you up. wanted to interview nicola today or you wanted to interview no, no, me no, it's or... like we, we, we can do her also but you do look quite similar actually you're both really pretty but yeah <laughs> I am not Julia Coating, I am not Nicole <laughs> I love that, I love that. So you're having a ball, you're just oh, having a ball. yeah, balls. absolutely. It's a dream job. Stick. Yeah, dream, dream, dream job. job. I'm delighted to hear it. I know this storyline's going to, at times, might be tough to watch, but it's very, very important, mm. very important. And mm. we'll see, the thing as well about Coronation Street is it's slow, slow burns. Yeah. But over the next couple we'll of weeks, we'll be seeing it. You will, I know you will. Thank you for coming in. Thank Great you, thank you for having you. me. Thank you so much. <laughs>